Okay, first is my sewing table. And there's also a Raspberry Pi computer sitting there. And then we swing around to my antique sewing machine, which is behind the two resin printers, which I haven't set up yet. I probably will set those up this fall in the uh, sunroom off the kitchen as they tend to be stinky because I use a liquid uh, polymer to make the whatever you're making with them. The yellow one is the, is the printer. The blue one is the... Uh, is a cleaner it, it washes the parts down after you make them and we swing around to my old 3d printer which is obsolete which i don't use anymore so i'm going to take it apart and salvage the parts and we swing around there's my laptop and i use my laptop to uh, look up circuit boards and stuff now we get into the good stuff my electronic workbench first of all i got a new oscilloscope it's solid state it's uh, all digital and i have a microscope which is the uh, in the middle of this image that's a, a video microscope so basically you know you put stuff below the uh, the lens and it shows up on the seven inch screen it's a great thing for old men who can't see good and we're coming around and there's printer number one okay this is an elegu no this is a uh, voxel labs and it is uh, i'm still adjusting this one but it's coming and we swing around and there's my uh, main computer for the uh for the work for my for my lab that's where i look up electronics and stuff and i also get my 3d print and models and stuff on there i also can design models as well so i can make you know my own parts then we come to the main part of my uh, 3d lab 3d printing lab the one on the left is an elegu and it works awesome everything i put on there comes out perfectly the second there's one on the right is an Ender 3D, and it's a good printer, but I'm still having problems with the product lifting off the uh, lift plate, so it can cause things to warp a little bit. Still working on it, but I'm going to get it all adjusted in, and I can have three printers in production. I did that a couple of days this week, and I had stuff printing on all three printers, which is really awesome because it really triples my production on uh, boxes and stuff. Uh, one of the things I made with the printer is uh, over here on the workbench. It's the uh, this thing in the middle, holding the solder and my and some of my uh, supplies from my from my workbench. So that's 3D printed, you know, and it's got a hole in it so you can feed the solder out. I also made this, which is actually two pieces. I'm gonna glue them together, but basically it's uh, you know just a holder for tall tools and pens and stuff like that, which is really handy. Of course, you can see I finally that's something that's you know, made for soldering on. It's a silicone workbench, you know, uh, cover. So, you know, it's, it's flexible, but it's heat resistant, so you could drop your iron on it and not burn it. And then, of course, I've got a, uh, a, de a reworking station. The top one is a, is a hot air gun right here. And it's temperature controllable. And below that is the solder iron, which is sitting over here. It's also con heat controllable as well. So it's kind of handy. It's got a USB port on it, which I'm using to run the microscope. It also has a DC power supply built in. <clears throat> so and I've got plenty of lamps on there so I can see. And then we swing around. And I finally get some decent storage racks. These are five foot tall. And I've got my, my filament for my printers up there on the top shelf. I got some test equipment and solder irons that I collected over the years on here. Then I've got parts. I've got my electronic parts. I'm kind of organized, but I need to get a uh, a Sharpie. I can't seem to find mine, and so I can label these boxes as to what's in them. And this, you know, I've got uh, you know plastic containers full of parts, and I've got them all stored in these. Uh, these are all CPUs and microprocessors in these boxes here. So now it's got a little little bookshelf there. They were giving them away at uh, at work one day as we went out. They said, you want one? And I took one. So, yeah, it's working out. I got one of my, my sewing machines. I got tore up in the uh, tornado here. So just a short uh, little video showing my lab. It's it's bright and airy. This is where David used to play video games. It was right there. He had a different table there at the time. Anyway, hope this... Uh, Came out okay.